Hey guys, it's Steph, and in today's video, I'm doing an updated nighttime routine. So my schedule has changed recently a little bit, and I've been posting on my Instagram how I started working out, and all of that so I kind of want to bring you guys along and show you what my new nighttime routine is especially for winter so just shut the blinds it is already so dark outside and it is almost six o'clock so that is when this vlog is starting I just got home from doing some errands I got coffee and crumble cookies also just crank the heat up to 73 degrees in here because it's freezing <laughs> it's so cold so this is my outfit as of right now this is what I wore all day and when I get home and I'm like wanting to be cozy because I'm always cold always so cold and also I don't want to wear jeans while I'm just sitting around in the house so I like to change into comfy clothes okay just changed into a big oversized hoodie I'm just gonna wear this for now the jeans are actually not too tight and also I don't feel like really putting on leggings so whatever gotta turn all the lights on because it's pretty dark in here and I'm also going to turn on my Christmas tree and just make it cozy in here I need to put this thing on a timer I bought like these home outlets on Amazon I need to get those figured out so then everything can be on a timer. I'm about to turn my tree on and also turn the heat up. And right now I am going to go edit for a while and also post a video tonight. I usually do my editing at night because I film during the day when it's sunny out typically. So nighttime is usually when I am editing and all of that. And then in my office, I also have a Christmas tree that I'm going to turn on. So when I'm sitting at my computer, I have such a cute view. So I'm in this room every single day. I'm either editing a video, editing TikToks, doing emails, or just like photoshopping and you know. I love this room a lot. I made it very cozy because I knew it was gonna be in here a lot. And this is like a newer chair and it swivels, which is really fun. And now I'm all cozied up in my hoodie. So I am just going to get some editing done. Okay guys, some time has gone by. I am still editing. But I'm gonna go make some dinner. So I'm getting hungry and I went grocery shopping yesterday so I have a stocked fridge which is nice. And I thought I might as well start making it now because by the time it goes in the oven I can edit a little bit more and all of that. So let me show you guys my stocked fridge. It's so organized and it looks so good. Voila, look how organized. Got almond milks, my lettuce, kiwis, avocado, apples and onions, peppers, Little snacks, yogurts, protein shakes. Had my first one of those the other day. Then we have all my cheeses. I love my cheese. And then this is kind of like miscellaneous. Boxed waters I got from my hotel and then cheese. And then I got this pre-made herb smoked salmon. Just a cute little individual one, which this doesn't expire until December 7th, which is a while from now it's kind of concerning a little bit and then I just got some fresh salmon I sometimes get it like from behind the counter but I didn't feel like like waiting and ordering it so I just got one like this actually there's two in here and there's leftover pasta from last night I was eating at literally one in the morning that was so good and then my cucumbers I decided to put all of my like veggies and fresh things out to where I can see it so then I end up using it I also have lunch meat and stuff for wraps I have like everything at the moment and French onion dip I've been craving this so bad but I think I'm gonna make some salmon and then I also have some gnocchi and I also got rice and mashed potatoes so maybe we'll do mashed potatoes on the side of salmon. Does that go? Yeah, right? going to be making tonight for dinner. I'm going to make both salmons up so I'll have the leftovers for tomorrow or the next day whenever. This recipe um, my mom would always make. I used to hate fish but I would always eat this because my mom would make it and over time I actually began to like it and now I really really like it. Like at first I hated it just because I hated fish but I'm getting better. I'm getting better and it's like the most simple recipe ever like you need like three things and usually it's all stuff you have. So get a little bowl and get some butter. We're gonna melt some butter. So maybe I'll do half of that. Maybe that'll be enough. 
It's hard to tell because when butter like melts down, it gets so little. And next, take some minced garlic. If you're like me and like a lot of garlic, then get yourself a lot of garlic. Next, some parsley is gonna go into this mix. You can use fresh parsley, but I only have this at the moment, and you can add more on the salmon after. And then also, half of a lemon. So you kinda just eyeball everything. I mean, this is what we're gonna be drizzling on top of the salmon before it goes in the oven. So depending on how much you're making and all of that, but you just eyeball it and how lemony you want it and all of that. And then you're just gonna microwave this and have it all melted. So season your salmon with salt and pepper first, of course. And then take two pieces of tin foil and then put your salmon in each piece so then the sauce and everything really bakes into it and stays by the salmon. And then you're gonna dump your butter garlic lemon mixture on top of each salmon. And then also sprinkle some Parmesan on top. You can use fresh, but once again, this is all I have. And I'm gonna do a little bit more parsley on top. And then close them up. And then you're gonna bake it at 400 for 15 minutes. Okay, I just put the salmon in the oven and I think I'm gonna make these roasted garlic potatoes. I feel like that would go good since this is like a garlic lemon salmon. Well, I made these in literally two seconds. Salmon still has a little bit more time, but yum. I just tasted these and they are good. Honestly, I'm not sure if I've ever bought that brand. I always buy the Bob, Evan, Bob Evans ones. That's good. Mmm. Really good. Add some butter to it too. But I'm gonna cover them so they stay warm. And then we got five more minutes on salmon. Should I make a garlic roll? I have Hawaiian rolls. I'm like, should I make one? Kind of sounds good, doesn't it? Hmm. Maybe I will. Okay, I made one. So cut a Hawaiian roll in half, added some butter and Italian seasoning. Sometimes I add garlic as well, but everything else is garlic, so I'm just gonna throw this in the oven with the salmon. <laughs> okay, they're out of the oven. Look how good. I'm gonna eat the bigger one, so I'm just gonna plate it, add a cute lemon slice on top. You can dump the rest of the butter on top of it like this. Get it all sauced up. And here is dinner. Look how good this looks. The roll is nice and toasty and buttery. Got some garlic mashed potatoes and all of that lemon butter salmon. All right, so this is my dinner. I'm gonna enjoy this and catch up on some emails and stuff on my phone. And I'll talk to you guys after. I told you guys I edit late. I'm still editing, but it is getting late, so I'm going to get ready to go to the gym. Recently, I've been going really, really late. I'm trying to start going at like eight o'clock, but I'm always editing, and then by the time I eat, I don't know, I just end up late, but I like it because then it's not too busy. Okay, got my gym outfit on. This is what I am wearing today. So, just have on this like tight black tank top. I'm pretty sure it's from Target. And then underneath, I just have a sports bra what it looks like and then the leggings I'm wearing I usually really like Lululemon Aligns that is a really good type from Lululemon but these are athlete and they have like a cinch in the butt so they're really form-fitting and they like stay up because they are like higher waisted this is my outfit I just throw my hair in a ponytail and honestly I don't sweat that much. And maybe it has something to do with I'm always cold. I mean, I get hot and like sometimes I'll sweat a little bit like on my back, but like I don't get too sweaty and I just wait to take my makeup off until I get back and like get in the shower. I don't know, I like, once I put a makeup wipe on my face, I feel like I just get oily and then to come home and like do it again, I feel like it just will dry out my face. And I haven't noticed an issue with like going to the gym with makeup on. So yeah, I'm one of those people. <laughs> but this is just like what I look like today and like I just am going, so. And then when I go, because it is winter, I wear a crew neck or a hoodie, so I'm just gonna wear this one. 
because it's cold outside so cold and when you go into the gym too it's like freezing they usually have it set at like 60 degrees i walk in and i see the thermostat and i'm like Oh, turn it up but I go in wearing this and I start off doing things wearing this until I get hot and then I take it off but let's go I will try and film some things on my phone the best I can and I'll do an overlay when I get home they have play music in there copyright issues but I will film the most I can okay so when I first get to the gym I always start with the stairs I do these for 20 minutes they burn and it gets me warmed up and then I always do this machine. It's like the kickbacker. This thing burns as well. So I do three sets of 12 reps. And on this machine, I do about 70 pounds. And look at me taking my breather. <laughs> so now moving on to these machines. I love these ones. It just like, it's fun to do and it feels good. I usually do about 115 to 130 pounds as of right now. And then I do the squatting bar. Recently, I've been doing about 15 to 20 pounds on each side. So you can see I'm like struggling a little bit in my face, but the burn feels good. And then here's me doing the arm weights and this is 45 pounds. And yeah, I kind of just go around doing the machines. I'm there for like an hour, but yeah, that's what I do at the gym. I am back home from the gym feeling good and awake, a little bit sore. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. I filmed as much as I could. It like stopped my music in my headphones whenever I filmed, and like it was also hard to set up my phone. But yeah, I just do like the machines, and I know I need to make like a schedule and do like legs one day, like abs one day, arms another day, but like I'm just getting started. I don't, I kind of just do it all. I don't see what the problem with that is. <laughs> but right now, it is 11.52. Yeah, it's late. So at the store the other day, I bought protein shakes, and it was my first time having one last night, and I have two more after this one of this flavor, and then I'm gonna try some more. If you guys follow my Instagram on my story, I did like a first impression and review, and I was like, let me know what other brands and flavors I should try, because they had so many, and I had no idea what to get, but this one looked, I've heard of this one before, so I got this one pretty good it's like chocolate milk just very like powdery about to shower and I'm going to take off my makeup before and on my Instagram on the home section I have like where I got all these labels and everything like I organized everything so well like look how organized but anyways I just use this makeup remover finally take off my makeup like look it stayed on completely at the gym somehow I don't even know how. I really like don't sweat. And it's like, am I not doing enough? But I also feel like I'm gonna pass out half the time. Okay, just got out of the shower and I will show you guys just the products I use in case you're curious. So recently I've been using this shampoo and conditioner. I use this morning burst facial cleanser and then body wash. I just switch off between like Bath and Body Works ones. And then I've been using hair masks. So today I use this hydration one, and then also sometimes I use this repair one. And then for my blackheads on my nose, I'm getting soap on my hands, I use this Blackhead Solutions by Clinique. Now after my shower, I use some of this on my face, clarifying lotion, and also I put some of this in my hair. I've had it for a while. I like the way it smells. So I just put this on a little cotton pad and put it on my face to clean off like the leftover makeup that didn't come off you know any excess dirt see there's some dirt i remember i bought this a few years back when i went to la i forgot like my hair serum or something happened and my hair was like a frizzy mess so i went to the drugstore and i just picked up a random one so i'm probably due for a new one it's probably expired but it kind of smells like coconuts it smells really good and I feel like this just like helps with like frizziness, so I put this in my hair. And then next, I just put on some body lotion all over my body. Okay, I am all dressed, and now, oof, hit the door. Okay, so now I'm all dressed. I'm going to put some chapstick on my lips. They are so dry recently. I don't know if it's because like it's getting really cold out or what, like, 
I've been picking at them. It's a, such a bad habit, but it's like if they feel crusty, I just want to like pick at them. Ugh. And then I use this face lotion, CeraVe. I've used this for literally ever. Yeah, and I love it. This is what my dermatologist recommended to me like forever ago. Okay, so after I put lotion on my face, I've been using this eye cream. This is Catherine McBroom's. And I've been using it every single night. Since I stay up so late, I need this stuff. I used to never use eye cream, but as time has gone on, I've added more steps into my skincare because why not? Like, I feel like I could still even add some more steps, but you want to take care of your skin because it's the skin you're going to have forever. Yeah, I'm going to take my hair down from my towel so I can start to air dry before I lay down and go to bed, you know? Because who likes laying down on their pillow with wet hair? Look how quick my hair has, like, already dried. But anywho, I decided I'm a bit hungry, and since I have leftover pasta, I might as well eat it, because I was like, maybe I should just eat a snack, like some cheese and crackers, which honestly, that does sound good, too. Ooh, do I want that instead? Or French onion dip? Shoot. Let me see how much is even left in here. Oh my gosh, that's like three bites. Okay, literally, why did I save this? Okay, like I did really want pasta, like it sounded really good. But like, that's not even like enough. Like, I think if I ate that, it would just get me more hungry and then I'll just end up eating another snack. So I might as well just eat this. Okay, it is now almost two in the morning. I'm about to have my snack and watch some YouTube. And once I finish my snack, I will go brush my teeth and Take out my contacts and lay in my bed and watch a little bit more stuff on my phone, TikTok, YouTube, whatever, and then go to bed. So I'm going to end this video here. That is my nighttime routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this updated routine. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell and let me know down in the comments below if you want an updated morning routine. Bye guys.